Bitcoin. You may have heard of it. It's exploding in popularity, and this year, it's putting Georgia on the map in a pretty big way. You see, people from across the country are coming to Metro Atlanta to mine the digital currency. And just this month, For Fortune magazine and Bloomberg actually reported Georgia as the top crypto mining hotspot in the country. Channel 2's Justin Farmer explains why people are coming here to not only create money, but to do it responsibly. <laughs> My first initial purchase was in November of 2011 at $2.52. It was a, an amazing purchase. Peter Saddington of Norcross bought an undisclosed amount of Bitcoin at less than $3 a piece years ago. Those coins now valued at roughly $39,000 each. Saddington's among the youngest top 20 Bitcoin millionaires. In addition to the market cap, you can... He got in the game early and then used that purchase to buy a car, not just any car. I learned a very interesting lesson back in 2017 when I bought the Bitcoin Lamborghini. For 45 Bitcoin, a lot of people thought I was a fool. Uh, and now that Lamborghini, I think, is worth about $5 million in Bitcoins. Now, crypto discussion and ads are everywhere. Mainstream, most recently stealing Super Bowl Sunday. It's a safe and easy way to get into crypto. Others are taking note and cashing in, too. But it's more than just timing. What is this? <laughs> so, okay, let's look inside. That's a good place to start. Clean Spark chairman and co-founder Matthew Schultz operates a Bitcoin mining facility in College Park. Each one of these 48 mobile data centers has 166 Bitcoin mining computers inside. Each one of the computers are using energy non-stop with computations and equations and verifying transactions. The reward. Bitcoin. Schultz believes it's possible to mine responsibly. When we come into a facility like this, we enter into large power purchase agreements that we guarantee to buy power, which benefit the surrounding community by keeping renewable energy the focus of the mix and keeping costs low. Creating renewable energy and making money. To mine a Bitcoin costs between five and six thousand dollars in electricity given the most recent difficulty. Bitcoin today is about $37,000, so the profit margins are terrific. The company's also building a similar operation at a large facility in Norcross. This $6.5 million investment comes at a time when Bitcoin mining is front and center, not only because of the profits, but because of some headlines about Bitcoin mining being bad for the environment. Tesla CEO Elon Musk gained attention when he tweeted that the company would no longer accept Bitcoin as payment. He wrote, Cryptocurrency is a good idea on many levels, and we believe it has a promising future. But this cannot come at a great cost to the environment. That tweet came after learning a crypto company took over an old coal mining facility in Montana to burn fuel that way and mine Bitcoin. And their approach was, we're going to dust off this coal-fired power plant. We're going to create 100 megawatts per day of power burning coal, not recycled coal, right. just burning coal. And we're going to make Bitcoin with that, and the Bitcoin is going to be very profitable. That approach is the wrong approach. Clean Spark's new facility nets out with 95% carbon-free energy. Valerie Thomas is with Georgia Tech's School of Industrial and Systems Engineering. There's increasing realization that there are more energy-efficient ways to have cryptocurrencies. And Georgia is looking like the place to do it. We've cleaned up our electricity a fair amount already over the past uh, decades. And so there's been a real shift toward natural gas and increasing use of renewables. Sustainable options for the environment. But is it still time to make money? Is this, in essence, the new mint? Is this the new printing press of money? Absolutely it is. Right now is that we live in a world of programmable money where you can literally mine your own money and then use that money to pay for everyday regular purchases. It's really, really astounding. Now, the company CleanSpark is just one company making this kind of investment in Georgia. Chinese mining hardware giant Bitmain is in the process of deploying 56,000 of its miners by fall of this year.